It's not quite as good as Heath's, but it's getting there. So I made this a little while ago now, and I took it to the uh, D&M Tool Show in Kempton Park with Record Power. Um, some of you may have seen it there and picked it up and had a little look at it, but um, I wanted to do a Heath Knuckles style uh, blank. Heath, my mate across the pond. And um, it's not quite as good as Heath's, but it's getting there. His is always perfect, polished up, perfect corners, edges. All right, Heath. So I wanted to try to make something similar to what he makes um, as a uh, as a hybrid blank mixed up with all sorts of resins in there. Got a mixture of white in there, as you can see, and some dark purple, um, which has got some of the white in it um, in this section. And then you've got more of a clear purple in there, which you're going to be able to see through. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to see of that or not. Um, and then you've got the bottom bit there, which has got a bit of that. But again, you're probably not going to see that little bit anyway. But you might see, you might see that. It's hard to tell really because it, until we get it on the lathe and actually kind of decide what we're going to do with it, um, there's no real telling of what bits you're going to see and what bits you aren't going to see. So, but I thought I'd make something of this for, for you today. Um, not too sure what. And again, as always, could be a pot, could be a vase. Could even be a weird shaped bowl. Let's get it on the lathe and see what we can do with it. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is find our center uh, on both ends of this blank. So uh, I've got this little center finder and that is what it's called, center finder. Basically, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So we're just gonna mark this up with the center finder and I'm gonna go for each corner and just marking this up so no good just doing two corners because if your blank is out of shape, it's not going to find the right centre as you see here. Um, the line is different this side than it is that side. And you'll find that this will also be the case on this side as well. So pretty out of sync, the square, but we've now got our centre right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this little step centre which I picked up from Robert Sorby. You've probably seen me use it on a fair few occasions. Um, this is going to go inside the chuck um, and that is going to help us start getting this piece to round. So now it's trying to establish which kind of side we want as the top or the bottom. Uh, no idea really whether which one would look better on the top or the bottom. We'd go for that as the top actually, because that's got a bit more wood in it. So, okay, so at least we know what that, where that is. There we go, and then we just test it. Okay, it's as good as we're going to get it, make sure it's quite tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a tenon uh, on the end of here. So, not too sure again what we're going to go with this, uh, maybe, a, maybe a pot of some kind, possibly a pot, I think. But, let's get it round first and then see what we're left with.
Okay, so we've got this down to round now. Um, it's fairly skinny, to be fair. I'm not really too sure whether or not to turn this into a pot now or not. Um, definitely can't turn it into a bowl. Um, but, um, yeah, there it is. Uh, I think it will look quite nice, whatever it might be. Purely because of the resin and the mix with the burr and stuff. But I just don't know what to make with it. Um, hmm. I'll think and I'll carry on. Does anybody know what I'm making yet? No? Nor do I.
Right, can anyone guess what this is yet? I'm going to keep you guessing. What I need now is I need another bit of resin in here, but I need a clear piece of resin, um, which I need to hollow out. Just a little piece that's going to go in there, and then this will sit on top of that. Any ideas yet? So, I'm going to knock up a little bit of resin, only a tiny amount, get it in the pressure pot, leave it overnight, and then get it on the lathe and sit, hopefully, nice and neatly in there and on top, and, th and this will sit on top of that. So, let's mix up some resin. Okay, so while we wait for that to dry and set overnight, got to make a few more adjustments and amends to this. I don't know yet. Well, I do, but I'm trying to keep you guessing. Some stuff that Yorkshire grit. Okay, so this is what the uh, piece looks like now, um, and I've just uh, used some Yorkshire grit on this, and um, I've also just put a bit of uh, Shellowax buffing cream on it. Unfortunately, that wasn't recording at the time. But uh, this is some really awesome stuff. All I've put on it is the chestnut, sand and sealer first, Yorkshire grit, and the shallow wax cream. Um, and that's what it's done so far. So it's pretty neat. Still gonna need a little bit more buffing yet. Um, still some light scratches in there. So what I might do is I might get the uh, micro mesh pads out um, and give it a bit of a blast with them. But this is looking pretty nice, actually. Look at this in there. That is lovely. That is really nice. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know what it is yet, but um, I'm hoping this is going to turn out to be a little bit different. So, as you can see, I have drilled also a hole all the way down the middle there. Uh, so, anyone know what that's for yet? I haven't got all the way down there yet because I haven't got a long long enough drill, but um, I'll get one and I'll make, because I'm going to make it go all the way to the end. It needs to come out the other, other side, so uh, I'll do that in a sec.
Well, I never knew it was going to be a lighthouse. There it is, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. I had no idea that it was going to be a lighthouse, obviously. Um, but it kind of sort of started. I had this idea in my head that as it, as time went on, I thought, no, it's not going to be this. It's not going to be that. Um, what It started to sort of take a bit of shape from me, sort of like... When I was shaping the main uh, blank, I started to sort of shape it upwards and started to get thinner at one end. I thought, you know what? It kind of looks a little bit like a lighthouse. So I thought, yes, I'm going to make a lighthouse. But I thought I'd keep it a little bit of a secret from you guys, see if you can keep you guessing for a little bit longer. I've got a little bit of different wood for the top, uh, a little bit of bog oak for the uh, little kind of finial there, or lighthouse top. Um, and then obviously you've got this piece and it's got a little light built into it as well. And you've got a bit of burr. So um, you saw the light just then. It comes on via a sensor. So I've got a sensor, I don't know if you can see that, built in here. So the light basically comes on at night. Or if I cover up the sensor, you can just about see it coming on. Let me turn the light out. There we go. Not a bad little LED light that isn't. And then obviously it just turns off when the light comes on. Um, it's not fixed in here properly so that's why I'm kind of holding it kind of steady because this will fall out. It's, it's fairly wobbly in there. I could glue it in the bottom um, but if I ever need to access the wires because there's the wire there look. Uh, or for some reason need to get in there it would be a bit of a pain but I suppose I could glue it. Um, but I haven't really decided which kind of part of this this uh, blank burr that I want to see yet. So I think this is the front, as you see it there. But I mean, I could like turn it around so you see that bit, or I could turn it around so you can see a little bit more of the of the blue. Not too sure. I haven't made up my mind. So I think once I've made up my mind of where I, where it's supposed to be, or where it looks best, then I might sort of fix this to this. This just comes off of here like that. Again, not fixed because just in case I need to change the bulb. And then you've got the bulb inside there, or a little LED bulb. A um, little piece of wood on the bottom, just obviously give it a little bit more of a fancy look. Um, so uh, that just goes on top there. And there we go. So, so I don't know if it, it looks better like that, that way with this as the front or this. I think this way probably looks better as the front, This the, the burr here. And then maybe a little bit of the purple and, and some of that burr wood. But there it is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Put it down for the moment. There. I think it probably does look better like that with a bit of the burr showing and some of the purple. So once I say get that agreed in my head that that's where it's going to go, I'll, uh, I'll glue it up a little bit more, make it a bit, bit more secure. But I mean, once it's kind of sat there and it's doing its thing, it won't really need to be moved, so. Uh, and again, the light just kicks in when it gets dark. I got the little LED from, I got it from this company. Small Scale Lights by Jennifer Smith. I'll leave a link below for her channel or website. If you wanted to do something similar, grab some lights from them. Pretty cool lights. Now I've covered up the sensor with a card the lights kicked in. Well, at least we know the sensor works. So that is it. That's Friday's project. Again, had no idea what I was going to be doing. And I kind of initially, when I picked that up, I thought I was just going to make a little pot from it. But um, as time went on, things started to change. And that's generally what happens in my channel. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll obviously leave steals up at the end as always. And if you've got any comments, uh, please put them below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. And if you wouldn't mind sharing the video, that really does help. Uh, again, thanks very much for everyone that's come over to my channel recently. The channel was still growing really well. And, I, and if you've missed it, I did a little bit of a giveaway on my Wednesday waffle last week for three tins of Yorkshire grit. Not one, not two, but three. Three tins of Yorkshire grit up for grabs and three hats, Yorkshire grit ones. If you go over there and check out the Wednesday Waffle, there's going to be some more giveaways uh, coming up soon. We'll be announcing three winners for those Yorkshire Grits next Wednesday. Uh, and I'll also be doing another giveaway soon because we're getting close now to 50
five thousand subscribers which is crazy again can't thank you guys enough for coming over to the channel and hanging around uh, so I'm gonna be doing another giveaway for that not too sure you're what yet but I've got a couple of ideas in mind thanks for all the messages that I've got sorry if I haven't replied back to you but please bear in mind I get hundreds and hundreds of emails every day somebody asked me to do a bit of a review on the pressure pot the other day but i've done that i did that last wednesday so hopefully that's all right um and i did leave links below where i got the pressure pot from again also with the, my emblems i get asked quite a lot of pre um, questions about my emblems the company that i'm dealing with at the moment that got my current uh emblems done are not really interested in um selling anyone any uh, emblems don't really know why but they must be billionaires all it really is is an engineering company that can make little brass uh little little tiny brass emblems you give them your design logo speak to an, an engineering firm and they should be able to make these little discs for you hopefully that helps well again thanks very much guys to all my new subscribers obviously thanks very much for all my old ones for sticking around i hope you enjoyed the project have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget, I'll see you at Harrods next week. Harrogate. Take care.